Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into these topics. Let's go. So Babyface says that people have been asking, and now he's going to give it to you. He has announced his solo tour after he was dropped from the Anita Baker's lineup, which I thought was horrible because I think him and Anita would have a great show, but this is going to be good too. Good for you, Babyface. So restaurants in Washington, D.C. and San Francisco have got the green light from the U.S. Agricultural Department to go ahead and sell lab-grown chicken. Like, I'm just going to need that to be on the menu if that is something that you're offering because I need to be able to make that decision for myself. I don't know if I like this or not. Let me know what you think. So the game will not be returning for another season. Quiet as kept, I didn't even know it was on this season. And plus, don't you feel like it's run its course? Like, it's time for this to be over anyway. It's just, it's just time. Even Marcel was being interviewed wherever, right? And the girl was asking her, you know, is she watching the show? People are saying the show is boring. And she said, are they saying it's boring because there's no drama? She said she has not been watching it. And she also said that she's not here for the exploitation of these women's lives because they're positive black women that should show them in that light. But when she asked Eva, would she come back to the housewife? She said no, real fast. I don't know if Eva would need to be back anyway. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's what the show needs. Let's keep going. Child Monique is out here in the serene serenity of life, and she is chilling. She says she will speak with us when she returns back from her relaxation about her and her divorce from Chris. Until then, she is logging off. She'll holler at us later. I can't wait till she get back to see what she has to say. In other housewife news, um, we have been trying to figure out what's going on with Drew and Ralph. So now let's get into it. So Drew said her boiling point was basically the embarrassment that was on television versus what we didn't see that was going on at home. That was the breaking point for her. And I get that because now we see what's really going on at the house. But she said, of course, she was forever, but there was nothing else left for her to hold on to because the behavior and inappropriateness just never stopped and it was too much. And I, I can believe that. Now, this is what Ralph had to say. He said he stands by his response to the petition of the divorce, right? But he does apologize for his part in the deterioration of their relationship. As seasons change, I'm hopeful and optimistic for brighter days ahead. So I wish them good luck in the co-parenting department. You know what I'm saying? And happiness. Let's keep going. What is going on with these concerts? Fantasia had to stop people from tussling and Erica Badu. Somebody's tussling at collard greens and cornbread. Okay. Y'all, don't forget to join us Monday. Ebony and I will be discussing Bell Collective. We're going to be discussing the Selena interview with Carlos, Love and Marriage Huntsville, and Love and Marriage Detroit. See y'all later. Bye.